guys, welcome to another video with Ed Royal for you, and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to use Rain Meter, download it, you know, all the basic stuff. I did a video on this one, but I don't think people saw it or found it helpful, so I'm just going to do a remake of it. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to show you how to download Rain Meter. First, you're going to go to rainmeter.net, and don't worry, I'll leave all the necessary links for you guys to press and, you know whatever in the description below so you go to Rainier and you don't know how to download you see this download thing usually just download the most top the newest version press download and then it's just gonna pop up over here in the downloads for panel and then after you download it you would usually you run the program and you get a bunch of a lot of ugly black skins um that's how mine started so you would just unload the skins you get unload all of them okay and leave one behind and then you would go and right click and manage skin but if you don't have any Raymeter skins yet go here like you go here and you can see a lot of suggestions like wow i love this clock so you just press it and it's going to lead you to deviantr.com which is a great place for you guys to look for Rainier skins so yeah so like you can see this it looks nice you want it you like it blah 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 then you press download file okay then after that you go to deviantart.com and then usually this place has thousands and thousands of Rainier skins all I have to do is like if you want a Rainier recycle bin just type Rainier recycle bin I usually just type Rainier clock because mainly I just look for clocks and skins. Um, so you would get a bunch of um, bunch of results. Um, there are a lot you can download from and use. So like you say, I like this clock over here, and I like that clock, and I'm just gonna press it, and then. Well, you can see how it looks like, and if you like it, press download file. After you download all the skins you want, oh, sometimes you get really nice skin suggestions over here too. And you can just download as much as you want, whatever you want. Like, if you want baby or music player, just type, but sometimes it's not there. And if you want more skins, I, I make some packs, and they usually have baby or skins, so yeah. You can go and check them out. So, yeah. After you download the skins, go to your libraries. And then, well, you're going to have to wait for something. And then you go to your downloads. And, well, oopsie. Okay, I'm really clumsy now. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the one I downloaded it uh, right here. So I would just press and right click install skin Rainier skin and usually they're just gonna pop up in your desktop but sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes you get like stuff that says Rainier skins and it's just one folder and you don't even know what to do. Okay, like for example these I put them in a two subscribers pack. Like, all you get is a folder with whatever these are, and you don't know what to do with them. Okay, this is for beginners. Like, all you see is this and that. I got really confused the first time I downloaded Rainier too. But, all you have to do is copy all the skins you get. Right click and press copy. And you go to your documents and Rain Meter. And then skins, and you paste all the Rainier skins you download. Um, it's not necessary to put these, but yeah, if you want to, it's possible. Um, and when you paste them, and you just right click and manage skin, they usually don't pop up immediately. You need to either refresh all your skins by doing this refresh all. Or if that doesn't work, you can um, restart your Rainier or restart your computer. They're supposed to be 
it's supposed to be there if it's not there I didn't tell me maybe I could figure it out make sure you post it here libraries documents read meter and skins and after all of that well that's pretty much it and when you install the skins you want you can move and like rearrange them and then you want to get new skins press manage skin and then you would have a lot of options when you have a lot like me um so i'll just go to a random one and then it's like style one two three four you usually press these things and press load and you're gonna get like you're gonna get it and stuff like that then if you don't like it unload or just right click and press unload skin um that's how you like get rid of the rain meter skins on your desktop and yeah it's pretty simple you know nothing too hard i hope this is helpful i'll leave all the necessary links in the description below for you guys so yeah i hope you, f you guys will find this helpful and please subscribe if this helps um i'm looking forward to post new videos and yeah i think that's everything so yeah thank you guys for watching please subscribe like comment if this helps yeah thanks for watching um comment below if you have any more questions bye